Hi everyone. Today we will solve practice questions related to respiratory system. At the end I will solve a case study question also. So watch till the end. Let's start. A patient is brought from an MVA to the ER with multiple fractured ribs, labored breathing and complaints of chest pain and palpitations. In the emergency room, the thoracic surgeon performs a tube thoracostomy with some relief of the patient's most severe symptoms. What is the correct code? Check option A 32100. 32100 is for thoracotomy with exploration. But in our case they have performed tube thoracostomy. It is not thoracotomy with exploration. So we'll eliminate option A. Coming to option B 32555 that is for thoracentesis needle or catheter respiration of pleural space with imaging guidance but in our question anywhere they have not mentioned thoracentesis right and also they have not mentioned needle or catheter imaging guidance such things are not mentioned so we cannot code 32555 will eliminate it coming to option c 32554 that is for thoracentesis needle or catheter respiration of pleural space without imaging guidance but in our case they have performed tube thoracostomy the main procedure So we cannot go 32554 will eliminate it coming to option D 32551 check it that is for tube thoracostomy yes exactly you got the right code tube thoracostomy that is the right answer let us solve another question 3 year old girl is playing with the marble and sticks it in her nose her mother is unable to dislodge the marble and she takes her to the physician's office The physician removes the marble with hemostats. What CPT code is reported? Check option A three zero three zero zero. Three zero three zero zero is for removal of foreign body intranasal office type procedure. So in our question also there is removal of a foreign body that is marble, and she has taken her to the physician office. So this is the removal of foreign body intranasal office type procedure. So our right answer will be option A only. Let us check other options also. Option B three zero three one zero is for removal of foreign body intranasal. That is correct. But here they have mentioned requiring general anesthesia. In the question anywhere general anesthesia is not mentioned. So we'll eliminate option B. Coming to option C three zero one five zero. That is for rhinectomy partial. In the question, rhinectomy is not performed, so we'll eliminate option C. Coming to option D, three zero three two zero. That is for removal of foreign body intranasal by lateral rhinotomy. Here, in the question, anywhere lateral rhinotomy is not mentioned. Here, the foreign body is removed in the physician office, so the correct code is three zero three zero zero. Removal of foreign body intranasal office type procedure. So we'll eliminate option. D I hope you're clear with it if you have any doubt you can leave a comment below now let us solve another question a ct scan identified a moderate sized right pleural effusion in a 50 year old male so a needle uses to puncture through the chest tissue and enter the pleural cavity to insert a guide wire under ultrasound guidance so here a pigtail catheter is inserted at the length of the guide wire and it is secured by stitches and the catheter will remain in the chest and is connected to drainage system to drain the accumulated fluid let us check the correct cpt code check option a 32555 that is for thoracentesis needle or catheter respiration of pleural space with imaging guidance and check code 32557 that is for pleural drainage percutaneous with insertion of indwelling catheter with imaging guidance So the code three two five 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 is used for percutaneous needle or catheter to aspirate something out of the pleural space, but then remove the catheter. So in three two five five five, you can note this down. That is in three two five five five, there is use of percutaneous needle or catheter to aspirate out of the pleural space, and then they remove the catheter before the patient leaves. So they remove the catheter before the patient leaves. Okay, and. Code three two five five seven is for pleural drainage, right? And it will be used when a catheter is placed percutaneously and it is left in. So here you can 
See in the question they have mentioned the catheter will remain in the chest. So you have to code three two five five seven because that is for catheter placed percutaneously and it will remain in the chest. So we have to code three two five five seven. I hope you are clear with it. We'll eliminate option A and option B is the right answer. Now check the code in option C three two five five four that is for thoracentesis needle or catheter respiration of the pleural space. We already discussed this while checking the code three two five five five. Three two five five four is the parent code of three two five five five. So that is for thoracentesis, right? Where they will remove the catheter. But in our case, the catheter will remain in the chest. So we cannot code three two five five four or three two five five five. So we'll eliminate it. And option D three two five five six that is for pleural drainage percutaneous that is right but it is without imaging guidance in a the question they have mentioned ultrasound guidance right so we have to code three two five five seven we will eliminate option D also these options C and D you can also eliminate on the basis of these code seven six nine four two and seven seven zero one two you can check under code three two five five seven they have mentioned do not report the codes three two five five four Two three two five five seven in conjunction with seven seven zero one two and seven six nine four two. So we cannot code these together. We'll eliminate this. Our right answer is option B three two five five seven. You can pause the video and try to solve the question by yourself. I'll highlight the main terms. A patient with recurrent pneumothorax. Presence for chemopleuro disease. Under local anesthesia, a small incision is made between the ribs. A catheter is inserted into pleural space between parietal and pleural viscera. Subsequently, 5 gram of sterile asbestos free talc was introduced into pleural space via the catheter. What CPT and ICD codes are reported? So, here we have four options. First, let us check the first code of each option. Check option A 32650. 32650 is for thoracoscopy surgical with pleuro disease, for example, mechanical or chemical. And check option B, 32560. 32560 is for installation by a chest tube catheter agent for pleuro disease. For example, talc for recurrent or persistent pneumothorax. So, in our question also, there is recurrent pneumothorax and there is catheter is inserted into the pleural space right so it is matching with a question so 32560 is the right code we'll keep this option for now let us check option c first code 32601 32601 is for thoracoscopy diagnostic separate procedure without biopsy but in our question they have not performed thoracoscopy diagnostic right they have performed pleurodesis catheter incision for pneumothorax so we cannot code option C 32601 will eliminate it. If one code is wrong, the entire option will be wrong. So you don't need to check other code. We'll directly eliminate option C. Coming to option D 32650. We already checked it while checking in option A that is for thoracoscopy surgical with pleurotesis. But in our question there is incision made and a catheter is inserted. It is not a thoracoscopy procedure. So, we will eliminate option D. Option A also will eliminate because there also 32650 is present. So, our right answer is option B. 32560 That is installation via chest tube catheter for pleuro disease. I have mentioned talc for recurrent or persistent pneumothorax. Here they have mentioned ICD codes also, so you can eliminate the options based on ICD codes too. So let us check J95.811 that is for post procedural pneumothorax and J93.81 is for chronic pneumothorax. J95.811 is for post procedural pneumothorax. In our question, it is not a post procedural pneumothorax. So, we will eliminate option A and option C. Now, we are left with J93.81 and J93.11. J93.81 is for chronic pneumothorax and J93.11 
is for primary spontaneous pneumothorax so according to our question the right code is j93.81 that is for chronic pneumothorax so option b will be the right answer now let us solve this case study question so read the pre operative diagnosis right lung mass and the procedure is the patient was brought to the endoscopy suit and the mouth and throat were anesthetized the bronchoscope was inserted and advanced through the larynx to the bronchus so here the bronchoscope was introduced into the right bronchus so here fluoroscopic guidance is used and a closed biopsy forceps was passed through the channel into the bronchoscope and then through the bronchial wall so here a tissue sample was obtained there were no other abnormalities and specimen was sent to the pathology for testing now let us try to code it let us check option a 31628 31628 is for bronchoscopy rigid or flexible including fluoroscopic guidance with trans bronchial lung biopsy so you can see in the question there is right lung mass and here a closed biopsy forceps was passed through the channel into the bronchoscope and then through the bronchial wall and a tissue sample was obtained so this will be a trans bronchial lung biopsy so 31628 is the right code but a b c all these three options have 31628 so let us check option d 31625 that is for bronchoscopy rigid or flexible including fluoroscopic guidance with bronchial or endobronchial biopsy but in our question they are performing lung biopsy they are obtaining a sample for biopsy because there is a right lung mass right so we'll eliminate option d 31625 now we are left with option a b and c in option c you can see they have mentioned 31622 31622 is the parent code of 31628 so we don't need to code it separately because 31628 already contains the information from 31622 right so we don't need to code it separately so by this we'll eliminate option c we're left with option a and option b we check the cpt code now we should check the icd code in order to eliminate the option code r22.2 is for localized swelling mass and lump trunk area but you can see in the question they have mentioned the specimen was sent to the pathology and the pathology indicates the lung mass is cancer so they have made the diagnosis that is lung mass is cancer so we have to code the code for cancer check the code c34.91 c34.91 is for malignant neoplasm of unspecified part of right bronchus or lung so here in a question also there is right lung mass so it is matching with the code c34.91 so we'll eliminate option a option b is the right answer to study guidelines related to respiratory system you can click the link above or check the playlist cpc exam cardio respiratory series the link will be also mentioned in the description let us move on to the next question before moving further don't forget to show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to my channel read the question the patient had trouble breathing for 3 days her urgent care physician referred her to ENT physician the ENT performed diagnostic maxillary sinusoscopy how should the sinusoscopy be reported 31237 is for nasal sinus endoscopy surgical with biopsy polypectomy or debridement but in our question they have only performed diagnostic maxillary sinusoscopy they have not performed biopsy so we'll eliminate option a Check option D three one two five six. Three one two five six is for nasal sinus endoscopy, surgical with maxillary antrostomy. But in a question, they have performed maxillary sinusoscopy. So we will eliminate the code three one two five six. That is for with maxillary antrostomy. So we will eliminate option B. Coming to option C, three one two three three. Three one two three three. That is for nasal sinus endoscopy diagnostic with maxillary sinusoscopy so that is exactly matching with the question so our right answer is option c 31233 option d also we will eliminate because that is 31256 we already checked it they have mentioned left side that won't be the right code let us solve another question read the question 
The patient is a 50-year-old white male, one month status post pneumonectomy. He had post pneumonectomy empyema treated with a tunneled cup pleural catheter which has been draining the cavity for one month with clear drainage. He has no evidence of block or pleural fistula. Therefore, planned return to surgery results in the removal of catheter. The correct CPT code is option A 32440. Check the code. 32440 is for removal of lung pneumonectomy. So in our question, the patient is a one month status post pneumonectomy. But today they are performing removal of catheter. So we have to code for this. We don't have to code for pneumonectomy because it was performed earlier. So we'll eliminate option A. And also they have mentioned modifier 78 which is for unplanned return to the operative procedure room by the same physician. But in our question there is a planned return. So we cannot quote the modifier 78 which is for unplanned return. So by that also we will eliminate option A. Coming to option B 32035. 32035 is for thoracostomy with rib resection for empyema. But in our question they have performed removal of the catheter. So we cannot quote thoracostomy with rib resection. So we will eliminate option B. Coming to option C. 32036 that is for thoracostomy with open flap drainage but in our question they have performed a removal of the catheter so we cannot code 32036 and also they have mentioned modifier modifier 79 is for unrelated procedure or service by same physician but here this is a related procedure they are removing the catheter which was placed for draining the cavity so, we cannot code modifier 79, so we'll eliminate option C. Coming to option D, 32552. 32552 is for removal of indwelling tunneled pleural catheter with cuff. So, you can read the question, tunneled cuffed pleural catheter was placed and here today they are removing the catheter. So, this is the appropriate code. So, our right answer is option D. They have mentioned modifier 58 also. Modifier 58 is for staged or related procedure by the same physician. Here also this is a planned return. Right. So it is a staged and related procedure. So our right answer is option D. That's it for today. In the next video we will study guidelines related to cardiovascular system with CPC exam practice questions. So stay tuned.